The Netflix Tapes Harry's wife bumps into the Princess Royal. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. As a consequence of her pressing need for the residual benefit of money, Harry's wife signed up to contracts with Spotify and Netflix. After spending an inordinate amount of time on paternity leave and doing sweet fuck all, Harry's wife was finally pressured in getting her finger out of her bottom and starting to create some content. This necessitated failing to recognise boundaries as she took a film crew with her absolutely everywhere, recording the most banal and industrial beige moments for the purposes of believing that anybody would actually be interested in them. Nevertheless, as a consequence of the reach of the Ultra, I have been able to obtain certain copies of the Netflix tapes for your delight and delicatation. One involves Anne the Princess Royal, who was born on the 15th of August 1958, and is the second child and only daughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the late Prince Philip. She has been Princess Royal since 1987, and it is an understatement to say that she does not suffer fools gladly. One of the hardest-working royals, she performs official duties and engagements on behalf of her older brother Charles, and holds patronage in over 300 organisations. Her charity work revolves around sport, sciences, people with disabilities, and health in developing countries. She has been associated with Save the Children for over 50 years, and has visited a number of their projects. Her work resulted in her nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990. She is the antithesis of the lazy, entitled Harry's wife. And there was an occasion where the two happened to bump into one another, or rather, something went bump in the night. I now provide to you the exclusive recording of those events for you to make your own minds up about what really went on. Well, that mysterious horseman, what a hunk he was, left me an invitation to attend Gatcom Park. So, here I am. Oh, I guess Princess Anne wanted to apologize to me in person. Yeah. Well, there's no one here to greet me. How strange. I'll try this doorbell. Oh, the door is opened, as if opened by an invisible hand. Must have got one from the same place where I got one to light my house candles. Goodness, it is cold in here. Has she not heard of underfloor heating? I'll give her some tips when I see her, and when I start up my new lifestyle blog, The Grift. Ah, there you are, you odious little Con artist. I beg your pardon. Oh, you'll beg all right. Fortnum Mason sees her. Hey, get off of me. What do you think you're doing? I am royalty. <laughs> ha! I've seen Chinese knockoff crowns on Wish with more royalty than you, Missy. 
This is an outrage. H will hear of this. Harry, that wet wipe is neither use nor ornament. I was dealing with scum like you when you were still shitting green in your nappy or diaper, as you would say. Harry can't help you. Besides, I gave him some shoes with laces rather than Velcro. He'll be occupied for hours before he realizes you haven't turned up to trombone him, the randy little traitor. Take your hands off me. Now, you listen to me. You're on my turf now, Miss Wannabe Princess, and I'm a proper blue blood. Not some airy fairy, wishy-washy, dressing up in shoes too big for her, for Sean catastrophe that you are. Where are you taking me? To your room 101. Oh, I see. You've turned this into a hotel. How fabulous. Of course not, you marshmallow-minded imbecile. I'm taking you into a special chamber where Fortnum here is going to film you and me having a little chat. Or rather, I'm going to speak and you, for once in your deluded history, revising, sizzler-eating life, are going to listen. You're going to be stripped of your ill-fitting designer couture, and it's a hair shirt for you and a seat on the stool of shame. And then I'm going to ever so slowly, ever so deliciously, walk you down memory lane, and this time there's no gaslighting memory glitches or timeline changes. I, as I believe they say these days, have the receipts. You're going to read Tom Bower's revenge to me? Ha! Tom Bower's revenge will feel like a tickling contest after what I've got in store for you. See this? This? This box contains all, and I mean all, the evidence that MI5, MI6, the Ultra, and more besides, have furnished with me. And you are going to admit to each and every one, and then there'll be a broadcast of our little chat to the world. Never. You can't make me. Oh, you will. Mason, put her on this stool and get her changed. Now. Let's see. What shall I begin with? Ah, yes. How about we board the good yacht happy ending that's full of semen and see what's in store for you, briefcase girl? No. No. No!